We have a unique asset base with uh, our cardium asset being 75% of our production. It's very stable, it throws off a lot of free cash flow for us that we are able to uh, reinvest back into the Peace River area, which is a new and exciting play for us. So we're excited about that. What, differ what uh, differentiates our strategy in part is uh, we have a strong tax pool base, um, which allows us to uh, shelter that free cash flow. We estimate at $100 WTI that will, uh, uh, will be free cash flow um, positive for about six years with that uh, cash flow, so no income taxes on that. Um, and then the size of the Peace River opportunity with our 500 sections up there gives us a, a real value creation opportunity compared to the rest of the company. Very proud of uh, how the staff has performed in some of the challenging times as we went through COVID. Uh, I joined the company in December 2019, and uh, I can certainly say as we went through COVID, we were very cost conscious. Uh, we actually came out through 2020 with positive cash flow after capital expenditures. Uh, beyond that, uh, the team has executed well on the program, and then we've also been able to increase our position in the Peace River area by buying out our partner in a deal late in 2021, and also just refinanced our capital, uh, our our debt structure in uh, July in a, in a pretty difficult market, so we're happy to get that accomplished. So interesting question, the, the business always continues to evolve, especially on the environmental side. Um, you know, we're always looking for ways to uh, improve our stewardship uh, with regard to the environmental uh, footprint. And uh, on that uh, note, we've made some great strides in terms of GHG emissions, we've reduced them 40% since uh, 2018. In terms of freshwater usage, uh, we've reduced that also 40%. Um, and we are very proactive on our pipeline inspection. So we've significantly reduced the amount of uh, pipeline spills that have occurred with our uh, infrastructure that we have. Uh, so very proud of the team on that front. And we're also very active on the decommissioning liability side. In our legacy area, where uh, legacy areas which are outside our main core areas of operation, we'll re reduce our uh, uh, abandon our well bores by 97% from where we started. So, very proud of the team on that. <laughs>